and this time on Animal Crossing. Uh, couldn't do stuff. Actually, it's probably a pretty short episode. Trying to. Uh, what am I trying to do? I'm trying to get this done before class. That's what I'm trying to do because I am so good at managing my time and when I should do stuff. As in, I screwed around for like an hour when I probably should have been and screwed around. I investigated the internet and learned more things that were useful and I needed to know. As in, rewatching Nintendo Land videos that I've already seen before, hoping to gain extra. Oh, I lost points for my house. How depressing. It's because I took my vending machine and put it downstairs. I didn't like that. Oh, I know what it was. It was that. It's the game console. That thing probably gives you a good amount of points on, so normally. Oh, well. Darn, I got all crud for our fossils today. That's okay. I can deal with that. Uh, I need to go to the store. Got a speed run today, yo. So, let's talk about something fun. Hi, Tomlick. You're not fun. Oh, I still haven't gotten the slingshot. So, uh, fun things. Fun, fun. Fun, fun in the sun. What do I have that's fun that I was going to talk about? I'd like to sell. Take it, Tomlick. Take it all the way. I never want to see it. Okay, so. So back to the point I was going to have. Oh, auction finished today. I'm up to 400 bucks there. So now I still gotta get... Uh, it's about 760. I don't know if there's tax off. There probably is. So that's probably around 800 total, probably. So I still gotta finagle myself in for another 400 bucks to get that fully covered and everything. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, let's talk about some more silly video game ideas for Animal Crossing and all that, since we have the new one coming out in a few weeks. So they'll let you be mayor and everything, which is kind of cool. I mean, you know, you get to actually choose where things go, what time stores are open and everything. But, uh, I still think you should be able to choose the location of your stores and all that. That'd be kind of cool, too. Like, uh, well, let me not just the location of your stores, but the location of your village. I know I've covered this before, saying, you know, we should have different climates and places for the village to be and all that. But I was thinking, uh, your stores would also be affected by, you know, the, the, where you have it. Oh, that is very exquisite. Well, I'll purchase it because it's cheap and I get a ticket. <clears throat> but I was saying, you know, I mean, not only would uh, store items be also uh, for specific areas, but you know, specific uh, patterns would show up in certain places and all that. And the thing is that, um, see, normally this would be a bad idea because then you know there's people who like me or other people who don't play on who aren't connected online all the time. Well, not connected online all the time, but you know, don't have uh, lots of people to trade with. And, uh, the thing I have with that is that I really want the Wii U to actually be a bit more uh, all about online. Which is something Nintendo probably won't do, but, you know, this is my, this is my dream in Animal Crossing. And just being connect- is, uh, the ideas I have is being able to visit people's villages even when they're not around. And leaving them stuff and all that, because that's what this Animal Crossing initially was supposed to be about. The idea was that, like, you know, uh, you have memory cards and all that, and you switch them with friends and everything. And, uh, they would, uh, you know, leave stuff for you in the game. But, you know, it's kind of silly, because normally you'd bring your memory card over with, and you'd be there, and you get to watch your friend do everything in your village while you sat there being bored. But what if you had the ability to be able to, uh, you know, have all that done on its own? Well, not on its own, but I mean, like, you know, you don't have to be there, because then that kind of ruins the fun. You can actually literally have friends leave stuff for you when you come around and move buzz, they're getting in the way of my stuff. Alright, there we go. And, uh, let's see, how much space do I have? Ooh, not much space. But as I was saying, um, I think <laughs> Animal Crossing could totally 
takes so much more from the internet, but you know, Nintendo's a bit afraid of the internet, so I have to deal with that for now. But, uh, oh, hey, I'll pick that up in a second. Oh, I picked them all up. So you think it's that, um, a buzz get out of the way. You quit wasting my time. Get out of here. Uh, yeah, so I was gonna say, uh, Geroid! Um, Buzz? No, I'm not talking about Buzz. I'm talking about online abilities. So you think the issue is that Nintendo doesn't like the act. Nintendo is, a f a f as much as er most Nintendo fans, like, my age, want to disagree and say it's not true, uh, Nintendo is definitely a kid-oriented, uh, company. Oops, got stung. And, um, the problem with being able to let anyone come- not anyone, but, you know, letting, uh, people come to your village without your permission, stuff that could totally wreck it up, ruin your village, make you upset. Which, I guess, um, what I would say is that they went- Though a few ways to cure that would be like not allowing people to be able to actually alter your village. Like, you know, they can't chop down trees, but they can take stuff, they can plant stuff. Which means they could still, like, you know, plant a thousand pitfalls in your whole entire town and make you feel like, oh god, why is this happening to me? But that's kind of a risk you have to take with uh, who you choose to be your friends on your friends list. And then, I think you should also have the option to be able to let just about anyone into your village, too. But then that also opens up for trolls and all that. And Nintendo would dare not do that, because the idea is, once again, they're a children's company, and they want to have, like, a perfectly controlled environment, where, you know, there isn't going to be any problems. But you can't blame them for that. I mean, that is something that... No one seems to really understand that. You see, Nintendo being a children's company, which everyone says all the time, but they all go like, oh, but Nintendo won't update their friend codes or make, you know, more stuff for the online and everything, make it easier to talk with people. Well, there's, that's pretty much your big reason. It's because they're a children's company, and to make it most comfortable for parents who want to buy a Wii or buy, you know, Nintendo products, they make it so that, you know, when their children use the product, they're not going to be assaulted by child molesters or something like that. Not that I think there's actually child molesters on, you know, Nintendo stuff, but that's what, you know, a large portion of uh, paranoid parents like to think out there. I mean, the worst you'll find is like giant purple Pikmin floating around, telling you to buy video games. But uh, that, that's kind of why it, I, I have, that's my only problem that, with my idea that I really want them to like you know update all their stuff and make themselves more online. But they probably won't because the idea for them is to be a safe place. They are a safe haven among the internet, you know, a place where a child can go and be able to roam free and Booker will never be able to get items from me and all that. And, yeah, I'm okay with that in truth. I mean, personally, I have to admit, I'm pretty antisocial when it comes to online games. I mean, I play some online games. Oh my god, hey, all the gearoids. I want fossils, not gearoids. But, uh, yeah, I'm not much one for talking online. Which I guess is that's just me, but, uh, I was supposed to find Alphonse, I forgot about that. Um, uh, hey bear, hey pig, uh, I was going, oh, we need plant plants on the other side. I'll get to that in a minute. Oh, weed! Okay, so, now Nintendo always has the option, which I can't really see them taking away their child-friendly look, because that's what they have to do if they want to not be, if they want to be a, more of a quote-unquote core gamer populace, and uh, I don't really see that happening. <clears throat> I mean, Nintendo's main thrive, they're never going to be able to compete with the iPhone, PlayStation 4, uh, Xbox 720, what, whatever you want. The truth of the matter is, Nintendo is more or less a place where ch parents can safely give their children a console and know that nothing's going to go wrong. And know that the console is going to be safe and- Oh, get back here! It's chow time, oh? Well, here, take this before you go chow. Oh, hey, give me. Yep. Thank you, Alphonse. So that's what I was going to say, um, <clears throat> Nintendo's not really going to ever, uh, I mean, it's the fact that Nintendo's audience is children. 
And it's not, I mean, being shoulder isn't a bad thing. It's actually, you know, a very uh, good, consistent thing. That, uh, when it comes to, you know, oh, I mean, <laughs> a kind of another plus thing, if you really want to think about it, is, you know, recently, uh, a lot of kids have been, uh, taking advantage of iPhones and uh, all those sort of things, not in a good manner, as in, uh, figuring out how to order more things on the iPhone than they should be doing, which upsets parents because then their bills suddenly fly off the roof. And with Nintendo things, they never, well, I mean, with most of their consoles, they force you to put a password in if you want to save your, uh, you know, credit card information. You can't just leave it there and accidentally be betrayed by your offspring spending 500 bucks worth of stuff online. An idea with Nintendo, of course, is uh, for one, to make a safe environment, for two, to make it actually something that the parents can actually agree to. And I mean, if you're marketing Nintendo products, that's what you want to do. I mean, which, I mean, <laughs> a, a lot of people do not, I mean, not a lot of people, I'd say a lot of Nintendo fans don't like the idea of being called a kitty company. And, you know, the truth of the matter is, Nintendo is a kitty company, and Nintendo needs to be a kitty company to actually stay alive. I mean, having a constant, uh, you know, funding from one specific area, which is, you know, children, is actually a really good thing for them. It means they can do whatever the frick they want. They can make, a a iPad be their game controller and not update their graphics to the next gen. I mean, it's just their choice, and, you know, they can't... With kids, though, kids don't... Re to be honest, kids don't care that much about graphics. To be honest, I don't care that much about graphics either, but, you know, that's just... What did I pick up? I don't know, chair, I don't care. Oh, I didn't plant flowers either. Oh, well. Hey. So, man, I just got, I went in, like, a giant spiral here, didn't I? I was talking about uh, how I want my village to be improved, and now I'm talking about how Nintendo's uh, business model should be. Which... I just find it so funny when people get mad about people calling Nintendo a children's company. Now, I don't think they're a children's company, to be honest. I mean, this is just my Nintendo fanboy speaking. Yes, of course, they're a freaking children's company. But what I like to do them more as is them. Whoa, what was. What was that? I don't know what that is. I want it. I got a cricket. Uh, so, uh, what I was gonna say. Had something. Right. Uh, back to Nintendo, being the family company and all that. I like to do them more as a f simple, fun company. I know it sounds really weird to say, but it's like, they don't focus a lot on, uh, graphics. They focus more on, uh, the idea of game, of, you know, simple, core, Gameplay. That doesn't mean making a game that has like you know it takes advantage of like every single oh no we want this of all the new video game stuff. It's just mainly uh, it lets you have fun, which is just a simple thing. I mean, Animal Crossing is a good example. This game when it came out, we were all like, "What the heck? It's a dumbed-down version of The Sims. This thing will never sell." I mean, it's now one of their, not their, you know, major IPs now, but, you know, it's, it's, it's doing pretty good. Uh, what do I have? A lot of stuff I forgot to sell, apparently. Wait, why did I sell all this? Ugh! Well, back to Tom Nooks again. Oh, well, let's see. Man, I'm distracting myself with this conversation. I could probably write like a, a review, not a review, but a video on this, in my own opinion, about uh, Nintendo's marketing. Which I, I, I find really funny, which is how often people on both sides get upset about this. I mean, I know Nintendo fans do. Will reel back in disgust if you say Nintendo's a children's company. And I, I guess I do sort of too. That's why I further give them the they're, they're uh, the fun company. And, 
And, you know, people always say, oh, why does Nintendo release all of their titles over and over and over again? Well, it's actually quite simple. Because they're always caring to a new generation of children. Not that I mind, I like getting the same game, personally. Not the same game. I don't think they're the same game, but yeah. To the outsider, they're all the same game. And, uh... Yeah, you, know, you gotta have. It's kind of like having the new Christmas movie every uh, year. Each of them are pretty shitty. I'm like, I'm like the ten uh, things are actually pretty good. Uh, and it's a new generation of children to enjoy, basically. And uh, I keep on going up, but Nintendo does you know what most companies do for you know when they're. Ch it's like Pokemon also. When you think about Pokemon's been around for so long, you'd be like, why isn't gone away? We've already grown up, right? But it's meant for a new generation. And most Nintendo things are actually, well, meant for a new generation. And they're meant for children. I mean, uh, that's a pretty solid mark. Easy to obtain in solid market. I mean, the biggest fear for Nintendo would be for against children is uh, Apple products. But to be honest, the, with the Wii U being like 300 bucks and the 3DS being like 250 Nintendo's got pretty much covered because then, you know, when you think about families actually more than one child, where you, where it's not like you can buy one iPad for everyone, it'll be okay. Now, what do I have? Oh, I'm pretty much done for the day, alright. Damn. That was pretty fast. Alright, so let's finish up with this uh, little quip. But, uh. With it's. An iPad is like 500 bucks. I think I'm being nice actually. It costs more than that. But you can get two 3DSs with that, or you get a uh, Wii U, and you know you just use your old console controllers, and you can actually have up to five people playing with it. So it's a lot more financially easier, even though people are like, "Oh, money-wise, you know, Nintendo charged an arm and a leg." It's like, well, eh, you gotta think about the family and all. Well, hope I didn't bore you guys with my spiel today, but. I shall see you guys next time on Animal Crossing. And hope you all have a good day.